Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection 2-pack of Road Ranger and Puffer. This set, along with Jackpot and Sights, were not supposed to be released until March, and Amazon surprised all of us who pre-ordered these with them releasing a couple of weeks ago. So, a nice, pleasant surprise. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, there's really not much to go over here. You've got part of a golden disc here, so when you get all of these boxes, there's four in the series, put them together, you're going to form the golden disc. Ooh! So, going on with the box here, you got the golden disc, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Autobot, Road Ranger, and Puffer. Side of the box, more golden disc. This side, nothing. But on the back, you get some product shots of Road Ranger in robot and vehicle mode and Puffer in robot and vehicle mode. So now, without further ado, let's get this set all opened up and check these figures out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get your Amazon Golden Disc Collection 2-pack of Road Ranger and Puffer all open and out of the packaging, you'll see that they do come with a sheet of instructions that goes over both figures and, as usual, this is very well illustrated and easy to follow. You also get accessories for the figures. You've got Road Ranger's two halves of his gun that, of course, can combine together to form one really cool-looking blaster. You've got Road Ranger's shield. Puffer has two of these black cannons. And then, of course, you get Road Ranger and Puffer themselves. The first of the two figures we're going to take a look at is Road Ranger. Now, Road Ranger here is an exact repaint of War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer, but with a brand new head sculpt. And I really like Road Ranger's head sculpt because it's a nice throwback to G1 Huffer's head sculpt. And I think that is really cool looking. Now, Road Ranger here is inspired by the 2004 BotCon exclusive G1 GoBot multi-pack, where BotCon took existing G1 Minibot molds and gave them GoBot coloring. They used G1 Huffer for Road Ranger. Now, Road Ranger was a red and blue GoBot, so I don't really understand why they made the Transformers Road Ranger orange and black. But, taking a closer look at this figure, I love the orange and black. It's very Halloween-y and really makes this figure pop. As I said, this is the exact same mold as Kingdom Huffer, but with this brand new head sculpt that just looks fantastic. I really love the red on the different colors of orange. You got like a lighter orange helmet, dark orange faceplate, the red visor, orange there on the chest, different orange here for the waist orange for the thighs. I just think it looks really good, especially with these chromed out arms and the black cab and lower legs. I just, I dig the color scheme on this figure. 
Now we'll go ahead and give him his weaponry. I like his blaster. I like the silver blaster opposed to Huffer's kind of dark gray. Now my Huffer has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals, which is why he has the hazard striping, but I really like the silver blaster. So we'll go ahead and pop that in Road Ranger's fist. If I can, that's a tight fit. There we go. And then of course he has his shield, which is, looks like two different shades of silver. You've got a real metallic silver here on top and kind of a darker gray silver look here on the front where the original Huffers kind of had the metallic silver in the front with the darker silver on top. So we'll go ahead and give him his shield. Now you can put the shield on his forearm like so, which I really like, or if I can remember, I think he can hold it in his fist. No, he cannot. So it works best right here on the forearm where a shield can go. Now articulation for Road Ranger here, the exact same as Huffer. The head is on a ball joint, can look up, down, all around, but it is hard to get a hold of because of the cab section. Arms can go out, they can go in, they can do a complete 360. There is a rotation at the bicep, and let's see, no wrist rotation. There is waist rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. There is a knee bend, a ankle rotation, and an upper thigh rotation. So I really like this figure. Kingdom Huffer was one of my surprises of the line and i was really impressed with him especially because well you know it's huffer so road ranger the same thing i really really like this figure and i think he looks awesome so now let's check out puffer now unlike road ranger puffer here is a repaint of war for cybertron kingdom pipes that unfortunately hasn't been released yet at least not in my area I was hoping to get pipes before Puffer, but like I said, these two showed up a couple months earlier than anticipated. So taking a closer look at the figure, compared to Huffer here, you can see the major differences. Of course, you've got the different head sculpt, a completely different chest. The arms are different, at least up here on the shoulders. Actually, the whole arm is different. The shoulders do not have the ridge that Huffer does, and down here on the forearms, Huffer has those little rectangle areas where Puffer does not. The waist area looks to be exactly the same. The crotch piece is completely different. And the thighs and lower legs are the same. So lots of retool with this guy. And another major difference is the backpack. Where Huffers and Road Rangers, you have the cab that goes up over the head with Puffer here and pipes the cab rotates around. There is a hinge right there. If I can get that down, that rotates the cab so you can either have it up over his head like Huffer or rotate this way to get the G1 pipes look. Now, an interesting thing about Puffer here was in 1986 in Europe, they did not get the G1 pipes that we got they got a blue and white repaint of Huffer. Therefore, you get Puffer. They combine Huffer and Pipes, and they came out with Puffer. And man, I wish they went with Hypes instead, because every time I hear Puffer, this is what I think of. I've been smoking since I was born, man. I could smoke anything, man. I think you better light it in here, man. Right. Gas fumes, man. Oh, man. So I just did a quick internet search on Kingdom Pipes and discovered that Puffer here has a completely different head sculpt than Pipes. Pipes has two blue eyes and a nose molded in behind the mouth plate. Whereas you can see Puffer here just has the red visor. And to be honest, I think he looks a lot like Rom the Space Knight. And I think I really just aged myself right there. Now, taking a look at Puffer's weapons, he gets two of these fusion cannon-looking weapons. And I like these because they have a blast effect port here in the front, 
and a blast effect peg on the back. So you could actually make his blasters look like an RPG or bazooka blasting. I think that is really cool. So what you can do is you can place these blasters on the forearms, which is going to give him that G1 pipes look. Or these can be wielded in his fists, just like regular blasters. Let me get this other one in here. There we go. So he can do some dual wielding. So I dig that. He looks really, really cool. So now let's go ahead and get Puffer transformed. His transformation is exactly the same as Huffer's or Road Ranger, except for this back cab area that I showed earlier. And all you'll do here, you move this down and just rotate. There's a hinge right there. Rotate it around. And I kind of hinted, hinted at this earlier. You can bring that down and give him a G1 European pipes look if you so choose. But let's go ahead and finish the transformation. Go ahead and pull this back. Pull the chest area down. Bring the arms up like so. And then bring them down on these little panels. And you're going to want to rotate the forearms to where the fists are going to fold in like so toward the cab. So go ahead, bring the arms out. And then you've got the wheels here that are hid behind his head. Get those out and pop it off. This one wheel tends to pop off if you don't get that cleared just right. But I do like the fact that that is a clip-on wheel, but you don't notice the clip from this side. Now, I've transformed this guy quite a few times. No problems whatsoever, but you know how it is. You do this on camera, it's going to pop off every time. So now that I have the wheel reattached, you're going to go ahead and fold up Puffer. Let's see. Make sure the arms are straight back. There we go. And then just fold the chest and head area back up into the cab. Rotate the arms because you got this little slot right here that's going to line up with that tab. Get that tabbed in there. Same on the other side. And now you're going to take Puffer's fists and just fold those down toward each other. That's about my one big complaint with this mold. You do have the visible fists. Now you're going to take these heel spurs, rotate those all the way around, and then just fold the legs up, and that will form vehicle mode. Now, same as Huffer and Road Ranger, there's these little slots right here that you're supposed to peg in the legs. But if you do that and get those pegged in tight, see how the vehicle has a bow to it? So I usually just unpeg those and just have the wheels laying down slightly, you know, like so to make it flat. Now what you're going to do is take his weapons and you attach these on the back. So it looks like he's hauling pipes. So there you have Puffer in vehicle mode. Now, this isn't really G1 accurate because G1 pipes, you know, had pipes here along the side. And if you wanted to, you can attach the weapons to the side of the arms. But my God, that, <laughs> that is a little odd. You also, if you choose, can actually put the weapons in the fists here. Now, they're not going to go down flush, but that's still going to stick out way too far. So where they're supposed to go is right back here on his bed. Get those fists fold back down. And now let's bring in Road Ranger so we can compare the two in vehicle mode. Now, Road Ranger's vehicle mode is the exact same as Kingdom Huffer. So no real difference there whatsoever. But like I said, my Huffer has been toy hacked. I love the painted details on Road Ranger. You got the wipers there with a the nice silver, the red up here for the lights, the front, the grill, the bumper, the details there for the mirrors. He just looks really, really good. And I already pointed out 
how good they did the wheels. And I really like the uh, bed of the cab now, which of course is formed by the weapon halves and shield. The tinted windows don't look too bad. I'm not the biggest fan of tinted windows or translucent plastic windows whatsoever, but since Huffer, or excuse me, Road Ranger, doesn't have all the robot bits on the inside, it really doesn't look that bad. Now, of course, you can take off the gun pieces and the shield, which is on there really tight. And so now you have more of the classic Huffer look with the diamond-plated diamond plated trailer hitch there on the back. And of course, looking at Puffer once again, same great details, same great paint applications, and he's got more tinted windows than the tinted orange, or tinted black than tinted orange, and the same deal, I don't see a lot of the robot junk on the inside, so it really doesn't look bad at all. So there you go, guys, Road Ranger and Puffer in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here's the Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection Road Ranger and Puffer with Earthrise Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Huffer and Pipes, War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer, and fellow Golden Disc Collection bots Jackpot and Sights. The Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection duo of Road Ranger and Puffer is a great set of bots. I absolutely loved War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer, and my love for that figure carried over for these two. I love the collar schemes. I love the transformations. I just think these are really cool bots. I just wish Puffer had a different name. So there you go, guys. The Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection Road Ranger and Puffer. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection 2-pack of Road Ranger and Puffer belong in your collection? Well, if you're a fan of exclusives and obscure characters, absolutely, you are going to love these two. Especially if you're a fan of the Huffer mold, because these two just knock it out of the park. I love the robot modes. I love the color scheme. Vehicle modes, eh, they're okay, but still, I'm all about the robot modes on these guys, and I love them. I, though I do wish I got pipes before I got Puffer, and damn, I hate the name of this guy, but oh well. So yeah, grab these two. You are not going to be disappointed, and once again, I love the fact that this new exclusive series from Amazon is focusing on obscure characters. Unfortunately, their fourth entry in this line is a mainline Beast Wars character, Pterosaur. And unfortunately, it looks like he's already sold out. Now, these two are still available, and I'm going to put a link where you can get them in the description of this video. So yeah, if you uh, see them and you pick them up, you are not going to be disappointed. These are great figures. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys,